To test the voltage of a car battery, we simply switch to the DC voltage setting on our multimeter, and then connect the red lead to the positive and the black lead to the negative. We should see a voltage of around 12.6 volts. If it's below 12, then the battery is not functioning properly. By the way, if you don't already own a multimeter, then I'll leave a link in the video description down below for which ones I recommend and from where. When we start the car, the voltage will drop because the starter motor is pulling a huge amount of current. The voltage will drop to around 11 volts. If it drops below 10, however, then the battery is not functioning properly. Once the engine is running, the alternator should be generating electricity, and so we should see a higher voltage of around 14 volts. That's because the alternator is recharging the battery and the voltage needs to be higher to help force electrons back in and reverse the chemical reaction. The typical car battery is found in the engine bay of the car. The battery is first used to start the engine, and it does this by providing electricity to a small electrical motor known as the starter motor. The starter motor engages a small gear onto the flywheel of the engine. It turns this to turn the crankshaft which starts the combustion engine. The small gear then disengages and the engine runs by itself. The starter motor needs to provide a huge amount of force to be able to turn the flywheel. So the starter motor will draw an extremely large current, possibly hundreds of amps, but this is only for a few seconds. This large current demand is going to reduce the energy storage of the battery, so we will need to top this back up. Connected to the engine is an alternator. The alternator is rotated by the engine, and as it rotates, it generates electricity. This electricity is fed back into the battery to recharge it. While the engine is running, the alternator recharges the battery, but it also provides the electrical power for things such as lighting and the music system. When the demand for electricity in the car exceeds what the alternator can provide, then the battery will provide this additional power which again drains the battery. If the engine is switched off, the alternator stops rotating and recharging the battery. So the battery will provide the full electrical power to the car until it's dead. At this point, the battery can't provide enough electricity to start the engine. So we will need to jumpstart the car. Okay guys, that's it for this video, but to continue your learning, then check out one of the videos on screen now, and I'll catch you there for the next lesson. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, as well as theengineeringmindset.com.